I think I talked about this before, but I used to get bullied a little bit in uh, back in school. Like, not a lot, but I did used to get bullied, right? But it wasn't for long. After middle school, I uh, I went to a new school around um, eighth grade. Since I used to go to Catholic school uh, before I transferred, I was um, new and my middle and high school had like 99% white people, right? I was one of the maybe five Asian boys that went there. And overall, um, people were very nice to me. It was like a few times I had this one person take his anger out and uh, make fun of me because uh, I was Vietnamese, because I was Asian, right? Like, because I was, an, I was an easy target, apparently. And remember, middle schoolers are, aren't the smartest. So they fixate on one thing to bully you for. And for me, it was being a different race than he was. And it was because of things like that, that, uh, <clears throat> that made me hate everything about myself. Like, my culture, my food, my physicality. It's essentially in like internalized racism, right? And it really played a big part of like making me feel inferior and making me really hate who I was. Like I didn't know better and I wasn't smart since I was so young, right? None of us are smart when we were like kids. Like now I'm I'm happy and I'm proud that I am who I am. Like, I'm happy I'm Asian. I'm happy that I'm Vietnamese. Like, damn, my culture has some delicious ass ass food. Like, shit, bro. Yeah, before I didn't like who I was, right? That was that was like years ago. And I wasn't uh, proud to be labeled as uh, as Viet. And that's that was something I struggled with until like I met better people. And I finally had time to breathe and reflect on myself at a at a certain point in my life because back then i still did not like myself very much um i was uh i was not happy and i felt really limited in my freedom and restricted because of how things were in at home which i won't go into too much detail but it made me irrationally uh angry at my parents and it made me angry it made me develop bad behaviors like when i was a kid and all that toxicity i had and all the anger I carried on for myself and to my loved ones only started finally dissipating once I was out of high school, right? It wasn't until I met better people and got more independence after high school when I really started to grow more and uh, learn more. Like, I will say, meeting a larger community of Asian people helped tremendously with that. Um, since I wasn't surrounded by so much, uh, what's it called? social pressure from an environment that was like predominantly uh white i had some massive self-reflection and this was like around this was back around 2020 when i made a huge pivot in my life to be uh, a better person for myself to uh to my parents and to other people around me and to love who i was more like you guys know I'm big on self-love and uh, that's where that's when the journey started, which was like for real around back then. I had so much <laughs> I had so much frustration for who I was and it helped that I finally let go and and that I changed a lot of who I used to be. And it was also part of the reason why I'm Shoto. He was a new me, like born about he was born about two years ago and someone that i can say i'm really proud of today and somebody that i love so much i wasn't always like i don't know how to describe it i wasn't always this mature i feel like and i still don't feel like i'm truly as mature as you guys say i am since i feel like i still have so much to learn right and it humbles me to sit back down and always keep an open mind to learn and improve myself every day. So that's why I don't uh, try to say like, I know everything and because I don't know everything. I think that's like the first step to like understanding yourself better is that you have to tell yourself, I don't know everything and I need to get out of my own head tonight and stop pretending like I understand, <clears throat> you know, how the, uh, how, how the world works, right?
yeah, 2020 was when like I made a big self-reflection and big change, which was for the better. And I'm really happy that I got to, uh, you know, I got to do that for myself. I got to like self-improve, right? <laughs> Self-improvement and learning is like, you know, is a thing people can do, guys. Something a lot of kids these days wouldn't understand, in my opinion. Like, wait, you, you mean to tell me that you can learn and improve yourself as a human being and and you can change your opinions once you're more properly educated about various topics and subjects like you mean that what you said or how you acted five years ago on the internet isn't reflective of how you are now holy shit what a concept <laughs> That would probably break a lot of people's minds. Sorry, like I had to I had to clown you guys you guys know how chronically online some people can be. So it just it boggles me to see, you know, some people like that is all. So I hope that people know like or like take something from my experience, right? From when I was uh, you know, growing up and, you know, used to be so such like a uh like a for real brat when I was younger and just like, you know, thought I knew everything and, uh, you know, hated who I was and my identity and my culture and all that. Don't think, be proud of who you are, okay? Please love who you are because it is very special. And you might take it for granted now because like you're comparing yourself, right? To like a lot of other people like that might be in the overwhelming majority compared to you, but don't let it get to you, okay? It, it's everybody, everybody's the same. Everybody's here to do the same thing. Just because you have a different culture and doesn't make them better than you, all right? Nobody is better than you just because they they're practice different beliefs or whatever, or like, you know, have a different kind of like uh, culture and all that, so. It took, it took me years, it took me years to like realize that, okay? So, hey, it might take you guys longer, it might take some of you like shorter amount of time, but the point is like, I just hope um, people don't have to like, you know, let it get to them as bad as it got to me when I was younger, yeah.